Hey, Dad. Dad. Why are you out in the cold? Dad? Dad? On a small faraway island near Heron Bay lies what's left of a British base from World War I. It has limited modern conveniences that are brought by small planes, but usually by boats. It has few humans left. Now another species has taken control. Felines still physically featured very much like normal cats, but strangely intelligent, strangely in charge. Every morning, midday, and evening, Theresa brings the cats their demanded nourishment. Human bloods and tender fleshy puppy parts. Her apprehensive hired hand, Scott Paul, has desired to leave the island years ago, but can't. He was a boat hand, he says. When the cats hijacked the delivery boat that he was on, they left him alive, but killed the remaining crew. By ingesting the human blood and newborn puppies, these cats have developed a neurological curiosity, boosting their vision and giving them the ability of a hive mind monitoring system. A small path leads past a wooden fort, once intended for the cats as shelter, built by Scott Paul himself in hopes of appeasing the cats. Scott Paul says that he never thought he'd be living in the fort himself, removed from his warm 8.5 by 11 walnut frame room. Each night Scott Paul must be in the fort laying down, maybe asleep, maybe not. But he must be in that fort at 5pm, supper or not, rain or snow. He will be monitored by cats every half hour. This is Theresa's final offering to the cats for the day. She's running out of supplies herself. Soon they will come to her door and take her supplies and means of nourishment. <laughs> Scott Paul says, I don't know why the cats are so mean to me sometimes. They take one of my shoes and I can't walk evenly. Other times I wake to them pouring number two diesel fuel all over my head and body. These particular cats were disturbed when one of our crew members hit their nest by mistake. They stung him in several places. Soon, aphylactic shock set in. One of the cats notices the skimpy offerings Theresa is leaving. For years, Scott Paul has been analyzing and collecting information on the cats. Besides being poisonous, almost toxic, he says the mind powers of the felines include control over other brains of creatures and levitation. I witnessed one of the kittens teaching a pig how to shoot a crossbow, he says. And one time, a cat crocheted a throw rug in front of me. I think that was just to show me it could do it. The cats always request pettings, where they find sustenance and steal the human energy. The cats are always watching. 